We do it all in preschool. You found a goat, man. <laughs> A little crazy, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I am getting out the door, um, but I just wanted to say good morning. It's a Monday morning, so I'm headed into work. Today is going to be a little bit of a bop around day. I have my very first transition meeting of the season. Um, and because this was a student that does not belong to my school site, we're, he's going back to his home school for transitional kindergarten. So we're going to be holding the meeting at his home school site, which is also one of my other sites. So it's the team I'm already very familiar with. So that's really cool and exciting. Um, so I'll be there and at my home site kind of back and forth throughout the day. So everything's packed up, ready to go. Let's head out the door and I'll see you in my speech room. So my meeting is at 1130. I actually have a meeting at 11 and then I have 1130. And at 11, I have a Zoom meeting with my coaching mentor for my AAC training. So I'm just going to do that from the other site and then go into the IEP meeting. And it's so smack dab in the middle of the day. So basically I have split up the day is this morning I'm going to get myself organized, get some paperwork done. I have quite a few transition meetings coming up in two weeks. So I want to try and get as much done as I can for those students now. Um, so that way next Monday I can like finalize everything, but I have the bulk of it done today, like getting their present levels done because I have one, two, three, four meetings on March 18th. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the paperwork in the morning, go to the meeting. We'll come back here after the meeting and we'll plan since that meeting kind of splits up the day nicely for us. Um, and then I also want to try and take some time, hopefully this afternoon, because I don't think planning is going to take us that long. I need to get organized with like the assessments that I have going on right now and like just put down in paper like what I have, when it's due, what I need to send out, when I need to send it out by, get it sent out this week probably for any open assessment plans that I have. It's a chill morning. Um, don't know that I'm gonna vlog a lot of that because it's just me in the room by myself doing paperwork. So I will uh, keep you updated. All right, deal? Okay, cool. So when students are transitioning, I send out one of two questionnaires. I have two different ones. I've had them for years. I don't know even where I got them at this point. <laughs> But one is very much, I actually have a version of it that I created, it's, so it's very similar. I just haven't used my own because I still have copies of these left. But it's very much like early language, um, milestones, communication, like looking at gestures, looking at, um, you know, how much, like, how, about how much of your speech they, your, does your child understand? How many words are they using? Um, what are they, you know, struggling with in terms of their communication? How are they playing? Things like that. And then the other one is more of a questionnaire where it's just like check boxes, like what are your concerns kind of a thing. And so I kind of look at where my students are at, what their goals are, the progress they're making. When we have transition meetings and they're not, sometimes they are also the student's annual, like their plan review, because it just aligns with the timing um, of spring. But sometimes they're just an amendment meeting where we're updating progress on, on their goals, we're updating their present levels and providing a quick observation report um, to talk about how they're doing. And so the four that I'm working on are all like that. They're all amendments, so it's just some updates. Um, also just looking at services, making sure that's going to be appropriate going into transitional kinder or kindergarten. And so I'm looking at where my students are at deciding like, okay, have we had their annual recently? So do I need to send out like the full in-depth questionnaire or do I just send out like an update? Like what are your concerns right now? Kind of a questionnaire. So that's what I'm doing um, and just getting organized there. And I lost my paper clip. <sighs> we carry on. All right, we've officially made it to the point of the day where we're traveling. So off to some meetings. back from the longest IEP I've been in in a while. Um, I actually have not eaten lunch. So it's 1.45. I'm going to quickly eat my lunch and like I just need like a brain transition from that to planning for the week. So allow me to eat lunch and then we are going to plan 
like our little hearts depend on it because I only have a little bit of time to do that before I leave for the day. Phew. Okay, in the last hour and a half of my life, I had quite a few new meetings added to my schedule. So I'm quickly, I haven't even gotten to planning and I have about 10 minutes before I wanna leave. So this should be interesting. Um, I know we are working on break and wait as our words. It's actually just one icon. I need to put the Velcro on it, get that ready to take in for circle time and figure out what I wanna do for circle time for that, as well as figure out um, what I'm gonna do for centers. Here's my little glitch in the matrix. I had a, forgotten that I originally talked with my Slippa, who we are gonna start switching roles at some of the sites where she's gonna go in on the day she's there and do the center time activity and bring something in. So my planning is gonna look different. It's not really gonna be as much planning as just prepping for the week and doing a little bit more paperwork. We're transitioning into that season. Um, and so, I'm so grateful that I have her to kind of collaborate with and figure out how, you know, to make this transition a little bit more seamless, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm waiting to hear back from her to see if she was planning on starting that this week at, at my sites, because then that's going to change up what I plan for. However, I am still gonna be fully pushing into my Tuesday site. So either way, I need to plan something. I just wanna know so I can let the teachers know what to expect because the days that they get there, like big push-in day with me is gonna change to the day that she's there. Yeah, kind of scatterbrained right now. So I'm trying to take deep breaths and just, just be here. Just feel like I am here and grounded and it's all gonna get figured out. <laughs> We've done it, we're here. I'm supposed to leave like right now, but first and foremost, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bring in this song board. My Slippa made this for me last year. It's called Pets in the House. It just goes along with the tune of Wheels on the Bus. And then you do the sound of, of the pets. So dog, woof, woof, cat, meow, meow, bird, tweet, tweet, fish, wah, wah, turtle, peekaboo, peekaboo, rabbit, hop, hop and you just do the song and they do it all day long, right? Wheels on the bus, you get it, okay. So I'm gonna do that in my center before I, and I haven't picked it yet. You'll, you'll find out tomorrow because I haven't picked. Before I do one of the Matt and Molly animal stories. Matt and Molly, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to use because these are wordless picture scenes and you can do so much with them. So they're stories. And you have the book, which has the script, which has all of the vocabulary. It also has yes, no questions. It has WH questions attached to it. So you have a full long lesson plan already built in. You know me, the non-planning SLP. So you know this is right up my alley. So I'm gonna do that. There's three to four picture scene cards for each story. Again, once I pick a, pick a story, that's what we're gonna do. And then to practice the taking a break or waiting, um, we are going to, I'm gonna bring in Jumpin' Jack and we'll use this. That's it. Um, for my circle time lesson, the whole group lesson, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adapt this story, so the busy spider, and I'm gonna go through and talk about what happens when each animal asks her if she wants to do something different because they're asking her if she wants to take a break from spinning her web and go play with them or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use for that to kind of give a little bit more information and teach the lesson around break. Gonna bring in my Big Mac. This is actually not a Big Mac. This is a step-by-step -step because it has different levels so I can record different sequences of things. But I'm bringing this in with my own visual on it for break and wait. So that's another, just another modality um, for communication. So that way my students are exposed to all of it. The visuals, the sign, the speech generating device. We do it all in preschool. Let's pack up this bag and let's go home. Good morning. Tuesday morning. 
Woo-hoo. I don't know why Tuesdays, it is so hard to get out of bed. It just seems to be a theme. Um, so I kind of feel like I'm still waking up, but I was driving over here and I was like, I am so tired. Like I could fall asleep right now. I haven't had much coffee. I've had like one sip. So we'll work on that. But I was also thinking, you know, I get to work with these <laughs> sweet, energetic little humans and why not allow their fun, bubbly energy to energize me today? So that's my focus. Like if I feel a little bit like this, <laughs> just like focus on them, be present with them. Let, let them give me their good energy because they all have tons of it. I'm getting ready to go to circle time. They're not even back in the class yet. I forgot what I was planning. Oh, I haven't picked a story for centers, but I have some time before that happens. and you have to wait for your food to say I need to wait you found the goat you found the dog what is doggy doing oh doggy has your F sound Woof. good cat cat yeah I'm waiting home and it's Tuesday so guess what that means improv night i'm gonna do my best this season of improv so tonight's night one of our eight week like season and then we have a show on the eighth week but i'm gonna do my very very best this time around to get more improv in the vlog because it's kind of a dual action thing here um we have created such a just tight-knit great group of improvisers um we're like a little improv family and I just absolutely love it and after the last show some of them caught me taking some clips for the, the vlog that is coming out this week so the latest vlog and they were like can you send us some of those clips we saw you taking them and I was like I didn't get like I got like snippets you know like vlog clips like two seconds so I could like piece them all together so I'm gonna like create a little highlight reel from that vlog to send out to everybody I um, was thinking like I should be filming more so I can share that more with our group so I am going to be doing my best I'm I'd even bring the camera do I bring the camera to every I'll, I'll see what Mark thinks I think I'm gonna try and bring the camera to every improv because why not like why not get some good footage for us because everybody loves it and and I love it yeah maybe we will but anyways that's tonight super excited so let's go to improv <laughs> Wednesday. I had my hair in a ponytail today and then as I was driving here I was like I don't feel like it's a ponytail day so I put it down <laughs> um but I'm gonna do my best to vlog today and Friday tomorrow I don't think vlogging is gonna happen much hope I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be vlogging because I'm supposed to be getting a slippa intern that starts tomorrow I'm hoping her all her like paperwork and stuff has cleared um, but that being said like it'll be extremely hard to be focused on so many things so I want to I want to make sure I'm present for her um, so we'll see so that's kind of the rest of the week improv was amazing last night uh, we have some new faces in there so that was really cool oh I just remembered I need to put some stuff on my lips just wanted to say good morning hi gonna do my best to vlog today Wednesdays are a little cray a little crazy but uh we'll we'll see what happens <laughs> to my car right now I'm gonna go pick up an assessment for my AAC assessment that I'm gonna learn about I'm actually gonna study up on it tonight so I'm picking up this test and it is so cool to me I was Mark and I actually had a very fun long conversation last night because I was telling him like 
you know, how I'm just excited about doing AAC evals and stuff. And I just picked up this, this test and on it, you know, we mark everything. We're like, this belongs to our school district, speech team, blah, blah, blah. But it says AAC eval team. And I'm like, that's me. I get to be a part of that team. And I just, especially after talking to Mark last night and explaining like the way he said it, he said some things so profound that like as a speech pathologist, I know this, but it's cool to hear somebody that, yes, he's close to the field because we talk about speech pathology and stuff, but like showed him this video of this little girl utilizing her device for conversational skills. Um, and he was like, that's so cool. He's like, honestly, I never thought about it in terms of like, you know, people that maybe don't use verbal speech, like they still are able to like comprehend everything that goes into verbal speech just sometimes it's the output and I was like yes like exactly <laughs> um it really like hit me how important it is to be getting devices into individuals hands um to support that communication like I already knew that but like having a conversation with someone who's not a speech pathologist about it just helps you know so that was pretty cool all right, I need to go find something for lunch. So let's go figure out what we're eating for lunch because I did not bring a lunch today. Is it bad to do this every week? I'm not gonna make this a weekly thing, but literally did this last week. <laughs> Just a quick check-in. I'm home. I am editing tomorrow's vlog and um, waiting for Mark to get home from work <laughs> so we can do dinner. It's raining. I don't know if we're walking tonight. We'll see how the rain how the rain treats us, but I'm um, just being cozy editing. Honestly, I feel like I could take a nap. I got home and was so, so, so tired, but um, yeah, good day, good day. It's still not over, but it, it's been a good one. Good morning, happy Friday. Um, Yes, definitely didn't vlog yesterday. I think I mentioned it, I'm, I am, yesterday was my first day with a new intern Um, and there, there would just, it would just be too difficult to try and do so many things. I'm so glad that I, I didn't even like respond to emails yesterday. That's how crazy it was. Um, so I'm glad I just took the day off. I could have vlogged when I got home and I was like, you know what? We're going to chill. I, I literally like worked out, ate, and went to bed. Um, it was very nice. <laughs> got caught up on some sleep. So that felt good, but we're here. It's Friday. I'm doing multiple site things again today. I'm going to start my day at my normal Friday site. I have a meeting in a couple minutes that I'm going to head into. Um, just a quick like check in with the preschool SLPs and then I'm going to uh, at lunch I'm gonna head to my home site I have a list a list of things I need to get done that I wasn't able to get done yesterday so I'm like doing kind of half paperwork day um, usually I flop it usually I do the mornings there because I'm I just work better in the mornings I can I'm just more motivated I think but I can't miss out on time with my morning kids so much here so I want to spend time with them today and then head over to my home site, get some administrative stuff done. I have another meeting at two, so I'm just going to do it from there since it's on Zoom and that's an easier Zoom setup, but um, just wanted to check in, say hi. Let's have a fun Friday. So my meeting this morning took way longer than I thought. Um, I wanted to have time this morning before snack because I'm going to do some AAC observation for another assessment plan that just came back for a student in this class. Um, and I'm gonna try and use the TASP today for the first time. So if you're familiar with this, wish me luck, um, but I'm gonna do observation of him at, at snack time so I can fill out his CSA, it's like a communication sampling document um, of like communication breakdowns, and then I'm gonna try and assess him that, with this, but I'm like crash course learning it. So again, luck please. It's just been a day of administrative things. Like this is, there's not much to show you is basically all I'm trying to say, but I am just getting organized, doing some paperwork before my two o'clock meeting. Um, very happy it's Friday. And I didn't mention, but today after work, I am meeting up with one of my other SLP friends in my district. Um, we're just gonna go try a new spot for like a little happy hour type of thing. Um, and I'm really excited to go there because I think it's gonna be fun to vlog and uh, get to try out a new local spot. It's in our hometown. We both live in the same city. So I'm excited to like check that out. So until then, uh, I'll continue to get some work done. It's Saturday. <laughs> we, 
We are in official midday Saturday mode. I forgot to end this week's vlog again. I keep doing that. It's definitely different like vlogging Fridays because I've been doing more of that. But when I vlog Fridays, I forget to come back and like recap with you. So then we're doing it on Saturdays. It's perfectly fine. Been a very chill day. Mark is working out in the garage, so sorry if you hear him dropping weights, essentially. Um, we went to Costco this morning and now I am cleaning. So there's a huge mess behind me of chairs and stuff because I was sweeping the floors, but it was like one of those lazy Saturday mornings enjoying some reading and coffee on the couch with the cat being cuddled and then the rest of the day kind of took off. Um, but yesterday was a lot of fun. My friend and I ended up going to a place called Omo Mercado. It is very cute. Highly recommend. I'll link their Instagram below because I love like getting to support um, a local small business and I love if you're a wine or beer drinker, definitely go check them out. They also do pop-ups with food vendors. I really want to go back and try some of those different options out because I'm pretty sure they're like local businesses that they highlight and so um, it was just a really fun vibe, really fun time. And then I went to my mom's after that and podcasted. So yesterday was like a very full day. So it was also hard to jump back and forth between vlogging and just all the things. Um, still getting better at that, but I did uh, have a good conversation with Mark today just as I reflected on the week. And I was thinking about like, my big focus this week was to just stay open. And in terms of like anything that came my way, like having an open heart towards it. And I feel like that helped my week be so much smoother. Um, and just not that I can say that every day, like I felt like super excited about what's to come because work has been a lot. There's just been a lot on my to-do list, but I felt like I was getting there. Like I felt like I was giving myself a good mindset shift when I would feel a little bit tense about a situation, like just reminding myself to stay open to all the feelings going on inside of me or to all the outside circumstances. And that just really helped me breathe and relax into them. And so I found that very helpful and wanted to pass that along to you. Another big thing that happened yesterday, um, and I wanted, I meant to come on and thank you, but well, th well, thank you now. We hit 800 subscribers on YouTube, which, you know, in the scheme of things, maybe doesn't seem that big. To me, it's huge. Um, I'm just so grateful that this community is here and growing and that you're so supportive of these vlogs that we get to share life together and share all the SLP goodness together. Um, I really hope that, you know, you see how doable this life work balance thing is as a school-based SLP because it really is a huge piece like mindset plays a huge part in that and your ability to be mindful about what you're doing and, and take time and reflect and all of that and so it's just been really cool to get to share that here and then connect with you and I am so grateful for that. So thank you so much for being here. Um, again, just a fun milestone to get to celebrate with you. Thank you for spending a wonderful week with me. Can't wait to see you in the next one. It's gonna be a fun one. We're really hitting the ground running with these assessments and I'm going to be talking and sharing a lot more about AAC in the next one because it, next week my plan is to really just focus, focus, focus on those assessments I have open order devices, like all that. I'm learning as I go, but I can't wait to take you along. So get ready for some fun, new-ish to me things. All right, I will see you in the next video. Have a great one, bye. Say thanks more, say it all the time. Say thanks to everybody.